name is Mike Wells and I'm happy to be here on Confessions of a Rita Holic. Great name, by the way. Uh, Rabia gave me seven questions to answer. The first one is, where did you get the idea of the title, Wild Child? Did it come before or after writing the story? It actually came during the process. Uh, um, normally titles are are very difficult for me and cause me a lot of um, grief but I was at a cafe working on Wild Child on my laptop computer and I heard another woman say to her friend oh yeah she was a real wild child when she was younger and as soon as I heard it I just knew it was the the right name for the book so it was very easy. Two how do you come up with your characters? Do you see yourself in your characters? Well, I come up with my characters to make them fit the plot because I write plot-driven stories. And I see myself in all the characters, even the villains. Um, which is one of the great things about writing. You can be really bad and evil in your imagination, uh, which is great fun because you're not hurting anyone. It's all just a fantasy. So, yes, I see myself in all the characters. When you wrote the book, did you relate the story to the problems in the real world, i.e. drug abuse, addiction? No. I had really no thoughts about that while I was writing the book, although afterwards, as soon as people started reading it, they said, hey, you know, this seems like an analogy to, to drug addiction. Well. I mean, it's not something I planned, maybe unconsciously uh, it came out, but uh, I didn't intend it. Four, did you have another idea for the ending of the story? If so, how is it different from this one? I did have another idea, but it only came after the story was written. And I can't tell you that, unfortunately, because I think I'm going to use it in one of the sequels that I'm working on. Speaking of that, what can readers expect of the sequel? Well, I think it'll be very similar to Wild Child in terms of the pace, the characters, um, the whole experience, but um, I think the Green Water is going to have some interesting new properties that didn't come out in the first book. Um, and there may be new characters, uh, possibly another villain. Uh, that's all I can say, really. Seventh question is, did you always want to be a writer? Yes. Uh, and the last question is, what do you hope readers take from Wild Child? Well, I, I really don't like preachy books, and I hope I don't write them. Um, I think every reader sees the story a little bit differently and so I hope readers take away whatever they see individually in the story. Hopefully it's something positive and um, that's really all I want to say. You know, it's hard enough to write books and I leave the analysis and reflection and, interp and interpretation to the reader. So that's all the questions they are, there are, and uh, I, I really appreciate uh, Rabia being able to be on your blog today, and uh, I hope some of you readers will check out Wild Child. Thanks for listening.